Update 3 on Cyclone Francis, which is continuing to intensify in the Timor Sea. At 3pm UTC on April 28th, it had winds of 80 miles an hour and a pressure of 981 millibars. It's at 12.2 degrees south, 124.8 degrees east, and cyclone warnings are in effect for an extent of the western Australian coast. Category 1 on the Sapphire Simpson scale, Category 3 on the Australian scale right now, and the storm could intensify a little bit further yet in the next 24 hours hours before we expect that Francis will weaken as it then moves towards the west-southwest. Uh, latest models suggesting that Francis could stall a little bit or move slowly at least over the next uh, three days and of course we'll be watching that one closely for any potential movement changes. Right now it's 162 miles southeast of Kupang City, Indonesia, 315 miles northwest of Wyndham, and 360 miles north northeast of Derby. It's a stage 3 on the CDPS scale, a developing storm which could cause significant damage in the area around the maximum sustained winds. Over the next few days, this is what we now expect the storm will do in terms of its wind field. So over Saturday we expect it will peak and then into Sunday it will begin to weaken uh, past its peak. Tropical storm force winds could just about reach the coast of Western Australia which is why the warnings are in effect. Though by Monday we expect it will be drawing away from the coast and it won't be affecting land anymore if it does at all. Sea surface temperatures over this cyclone right now are very warm indeed, 29 or even 30 degrees Celsius, and that will continue for the next day or two. Certainly, if it does stall, it's not going to cause too much problems in terms of sea surface temperatures. The wind shear graphic is not updating at this time. It's a day old now, uh, but what it did show yesterday is that the storm would be entering a, a favourable area in terms of wind shear, and we can only assume that that is still the case uh, and is expected to rise in the coming days. This is how Francis has been looking in the latest frames. You saw the eye pop out briefly there as, as night fell, uh, but gradual movement towards the southwest looked pretty good for a brief instance there, and it could come out again, that eye, in the next few frames. It just seems to have regressed a little bit in those latest frames, but the eye's probably hiding behind a new burst of convection. Cyclone warning still in effect from Kalamburu to Curry Bay in Western Australia. Um, but you can see the uh, storm's influence just about reaching the island of Timor um, and also could be affecting Kimberley a little bit um, over the next 24 hours. Elsewhere in the tropics we have this mess, the remnants of Moifa, which is still going somehow but it appears that what circulation it did have has just dissolved um, and it now appears to be almost going full frontal here in these latest frames as it gradually moves towards the northwest towards Iwo Jima. Uh, this was 3W, um, the third attempt at a storm in the Western Pacific. The first two were depressions, this one of course making its tropical storm intensity. Um, and not too um, surprising to see a storm in April, but we have indeed had it. Mwifa that was in the Western Pacific. So here are our latest numbers, 2017 so far, we are up to two tropical depressions, ten tropical storms, it now makes three category one storms on the Sappho Simpson scale, and one of each category beyond. That's how it uh, squares against the averages from 1960 to 2016, still a long way to go. We are now also up to 18 storms, tropical storms for 2017 so far, a small distance from 1900 with 31, but of course we're going to propel ourselves beyond those numbers uh, pretty quickly as the summer gets underway in the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, the average is 90.5. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com and its tracker at your service at any time. You can also find us on YouTube, search Force 13 if you're not there already. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find us on Facebook, search Force 13 and it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on any of those mediums as well. You can also add Fool 13 on Skype, F O L 13, that's me, and add extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat.